I am going to show you how to use aloe vera plant to make aloe vera oil for hair growth and also to protect your hair against breakage, excessive shedding and dandruff. Keep watching. Here's your inspiration for today. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4. This is how I prepare my aloe vera plant to make my oils. So because I just cut this aloe vera plant from my garden, it still has the latex in it, that yellow liquid that you're seeing dripping off. It's called latex. So I'm going to wash it thoroughly to remove that. And also I'm going to cut the white part off the top to remove the latex that is in it because that can cause irritation to your scalp and then I'm going to remove the prickly sides from the aloe vera and you want to be careful when you're doing this they're extremely prickly and then I'm going to go ahead and cut my aloe vera into small pieces so here's a point for you to know if you have extremely sensitive skin you want to peel your aloe vera first and just use the white gel that is in the middle because it has latex some amount of latex is still in the skin area and you don't want to put that on your scalp if you have sensitive scalp so go ahead and grab a mason jar or whatever jars you can use and put your aloe vera in it and then you want to completely cover your aloe vera in your favorite carrier oils in this case i'll be using my favorite which is coconut oil So this is what my oil looks like and I'm going to store it in a warm dark area for one month. So after a month this is what my aloe vera oil looks like. Literally it was in a warm dark area for a month. If I had let it stay for longer all of the aloe vera would be completely dissolved in the oil. Now that my aloe vera oil is ready, what I'm going to do is strain my aloe vera oil and I'm going to just use a funnel to make it easier to get into this bottle. And then I'm going to put a coffee maker strainer into that funnel to get rid of any small particles that may be in it. So now I'm just going to add a few drops of grapeseed oil in it and I'm also going to put some vitamin E oil in my aloe vera oil and these are optional. Also I might put some essential oils in it for fragrance. It's all up to you what you want to add to yours.
this is what my olive vera oil looks like and I'm gonna just do a little demo on my skin for you to see with the consistency I use it on my scalp two to three times per week you can use it more depends on the requirement of your scalp it is very light and it's a powerful oil to stimulate hair growth to keep away dandruff and also I don't store this in the fridge I keep it out this small amount lasts me for a while without going bad